So today we're going to do the New York Mets, a team that you guys have been asking about for quite some time. And I felt it, it kind of worked now because they got a steal in the draft with the number 10 pick, Kamar Rocker. I've heard Kamar. I've heard Kumar. I don't, I don't know really. I've heard his coaches and players, like other people call him Kumar. I've heard him say, hey, my name's Kamar. Kamar. I don't know. I don't know what to go with. I'm just going to go with Kamar because I feel like that's just what I'm used to saying now. But that's what we're going to do. The New York Mets, Kamar Rocker rebuild. So I hope you do enjoy it. Of course, if you do, hit that thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoyed the content. And of course, in the comment section, let me know what you thought about the draft if you did watch it. And on top of that, some other teams with their draft pick that I should do next. So let me show you the roster that we're going to be using for today. It is right here. 2021 with first round draft by Real Maddie Ice. So there is the roster for today. Go check it out. Okay, so this roster has every pick. It has Jack Leiter, the Rangers, Henry Davis to the Pirates, you know, Jackson Job to the Tigers, all of them. And so they even have Kamar Rocker. I threw in a different Kamar Rocker. Um, and then I edited the roster or the attributes a little bit just because this Kamar had the same rating as Jack Leiter. I believe I could be wrong. Let me double check. Um, where is he? He's up here. It was 74 and Kamar Rocker, I think is good, but I don't know if he's up to the 70 rating just yet. I think he is a very well-developed pitcher. I still think he's just a little bit behind Jack Leiter in terms of like the full polished product. But now that I'm thinking 74 to 69, that might be a little bit too much. So I might actually bump his stats back up to the, the two that they were for each one. Let me, let me get back to where he was. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So that should bring him back up to a 71. It should. Yeah, it'll bring him back up to a 71. So this is what Kamar Rocker is going to look like. So velocity, the break. I know his that slider is kind of like a really good pitch for him. He's got the fastball. Um, I'm not 100% sure if this pitch mix is correct. I know this, the fastball like breaking pitch or is kind of like his big his big one-two combo. But you can see these are this is what we're rocking with, with Kamar. Obviously, more ratings and or more rosters will start to come out with like more developed ratings and everything for the draft picks but because i wanted to get you this one out let's rock with this so kamara i have a feeling is maybe like a, a two-year project so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just we're gonna sim it we're probably gonna do like a five-year rebuild kind of the normal stuff so that way we can let kamar develop through the farm system for maybe a season or two and then we can just put him right into the rotation so for the first two seasons roster moves are going to be pretty light just because one i don't really want to go out and sign pitching so that way we block kamara's route but also because i feel like the main point of this is for kamara to get into the team and i definitely think by season three 100 he should be in the squad so let me get through these first two seasons and then we'll see what we can do with this team so for season one i'm just going to leave the team as is because i want to see how everyone performs just because I kind of want to see who I want to keep and who I want to change up. You know, looking at the team, you know, we've got we've got really good pitching. You know, Syndergaard does become a free agent, so that's kind of a big thing that we need to worry about. Marcus Stroman does as well. Bullpen's kind of a big question mark for me. I don't really know if it's going to do well. And then, obviously, the lineup, which we've already seen. I, I know the lineup's going to do well. It's just the pitching. And then on top of that, budget. Budget's a big thing. We're over $22 million right now. We are going to be under a little bit next year. The big thing is Robinson Cano. I, I really need him to retire. If he retires, then we should be smooth sailing going forward. But like if he doesn't retire, then money's going to be a little bit tight. And figuring out who to sign, like Conforto or Stroman, do we bring him back? Noah Syndergaard, do we bring him back? There's going to be some, uh, some tough decisions that we have to figure out. So let's kind of leave it here. And let's figure out a different order for this. Let's go something like that. And then we'll, we'll figure it out and we'll go from there. But for season one, I kind of just want to leave it because one, I don't want to change it up too much. Two, I don't want to like try to pick up any big names because again, we don't have a lot of money. So it really just depends on if Cano retires or not. So fingers crossed he does. Let's get into season two and see what happens. All right, so for our draft picks, that kind of went well. Will Stovall or will stovall is our first pick really good with strikeouts and home runs already the walks the walks per nine and the hits per nine kind of the two attributes i like the most along with control a little low so but 91 potential we'll see how he does christopher harris with 79 potential 78 for montalvo and then everett Lorang 
86 potential for our third baseman here. He's got a cannon, but terrible fielding. So we'll see what we can do with him. But not too bad. Not too bad. Season one in the books, 98 and 64, won the division. I, I legit made no changes. None to the team at all. Ooh, saves. Edwin Diaz. Didn't mean to look at that right away. I meant to look at this. We won the division by one game above the Braves. Okay, Team ERA is looking nice. The team average is a little low. I know that is being dropped down a little bit because of Dom Smith, Pete Alonso, and possibly Francisco Lindor. I did a little check-in at the All-Star break just to kind of see how everything was going. Um, the Yankees are really good because they traded for Trevor Story, which is unbelievable. Um, I don't know how they swindled it because there's budgets. Budgets are on, so I don't, I don't know how they swindled that one. Javi Baez is doing well. So maybe with this roster, the guy is... Uh, not tampered because that's not the right word but like adjusted some of the ratings and overalls so maybe some players are playing a little bit different than they normally would which is which is interesting who sammy long who is sammy long there's no way this is a real player he is huh sammy long 26 has pitched in five games for the the giants this season 24 innings has a 563 ERA. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Okay. And Jake Faria. Jake Faria, I know, is a real player because he used to play for uh, the Royals? No. Tampa Bay. That's right. And Milwaukee. Yep. That's right. That's right. That's right. And in the American League, you got Wander winning the Rookie of the Year and then Grayson Rodriguez and Jared Kelnick. Grayson Rodriguez is going to be nasty. Like, I'm. I'm really high on Grayson Rodriguez. So let's take a look here. It looks like some offensive players got sent down, but we got Joey Lucchese, who was really good in this long relief role. David Peterson got called up towards the end of the season in September. He was decent as well. We've got Seth Lugo, Juris Familia. He's going up. Potentially, I'll bring him back. It just really depends on what kind of deal he's looking for. Sean Reed Foley. Ooh, someone did get sent down. Tommy Hunter, Trevor May. Edwin Diaz. So who, who, oh, Tommy Wilson, right? No. Who got sent down? Dellen Batances. Yikes. Dellen Batances. Oof. We got Kamar Rocker, who's up to a 76. So I'm thinking he could potentially come up next year or maybe like mid season next year. Maybe slide in at this spot right here because Carrasco is going down very quickly. And with that contract, he's probably out the door. But um, we'll, we'll talk about that towards the offseason. So looking at the team. I definitely want to try to bring back at least one of these two. I don't know who yet. Most likely Syndergaard because I feel like he's younger. More so a Mets player. I know he's been injured quite a bit. You know, Stroman's been kind of, you know, making it making it seem like he wants to stay in New York. He seems pretty happy with the Mets. But at the same time, I feel like Syndergaard's just, just known for being a Mets player. So, like, taking him off the team would be kind of weird. Even though I know his career started with the Blue Jays. And then, obviously, he was traded in the Matt... Harvey deal? No, that's not right. No, R. A. Dickey. That was the 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 trade that he was he was part of. Not Matt Harvey. Matt Harvey wasn't the deal. It was R. A. Dickey. See, see, we we got this. We got the knowledge up there. We got Brandon Nimmo, Jeff McNeil putting up some solid numbers as well. Who else? Conforto, who I know in real life is struggling a little bit, but you know what? I'll take those numbers from him all day. Pete Alonso, 38 home runs, low on base percentage though, so it's 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 kind of like a you gotta yeah, you gotta work with it a little bit. Dom Smith was was okay as well. I definitely expect him to improve though, so we're good. Lindor, good on base percentage, OPS is solid. You know the average is a little low. We've got VR who is pretty disappointing. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, JD Davis was very good. I considered making a trade at the deadline for a new third baseman until I saw his numbers because woof they're through the roof. James McCann kind of struggled. Little disappointed there, but you know what? Everybody else is doing well, so I'm not gonna freak out about it. Heading against the Brewers, who just have some of the best pitching in baseball. So like, yeah, losing to them does suck, but it's only season one. I'm here for Kamar Rocker. The Dodgers defeat the Red Sox. Ooh, okay, okay. Let's keep moving forward. Cabrera and Pujols retired, so now we've got a lot of free agents. A lot of big name free agents too, especially these three. Okay, let's let's think about this for a sec. So, Carrasco most likely going to get traded. Probably not going to get much for him. So, we're going to need to figure out something there. 
I mean, honestly, these two guys could slot it because like Taiwan Walker is pitching really well. So we could bring back these three. Nothing against Marcus Stroman. Fantastic pitcher. Did really well right here. I would love to keep him. The thing is, I got to be smart with the money. And I've also got to leave somewhat of an opening for Kamar to come up into the bigs. So we can keep these three. Maybe we let these two be the back end of the rotation. And then either we look at someone in the, the farm system or we just sign like a one year guy to fill out that long relief spot. That saves us a little bit of money as well. And that also allows us to keep Conforto. Is that the right move? Let's go four years for him. And then we're at 23, so we'll bump. He wants 22. All right, we're at 23. That should be good enough. Do I want to keep Conforto? I'm trying to think of also who becomes a free agent this year that plays outfield. Honestly, nobody. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go three years for Conforto. I want to see if he'll take it. Hopefully he does. And then I think I'm going to let the rest walk. That'll save us some money as well. And hold on. Did my did my, my offers go through? Yeah, they both accepted them. I'll consider Strowman still. I just want to see if we're going to have the money to do it. 40 man. We'll add Jordan Yamamoto. We'll add Malik Smith just as an option to have off the bench if we need it. Obviously, most players here are going to get arbitration. Yeah, I think I think everybody. Maybe not Jose Martinez. I'm a little worried he's just going to fall off in rating. Probably going to cost us a couple mil. Uh, we'll, we'll see. You know what? We'll, we'll figure it out. Most people are going to get arbitration there. Everyone's going to get a contract for the most part. And then looking at this. I'm probably going to be smart about it. Probably pick up a reliever or two. Offensively, I don't think we really need anybody. Maybe a bench bat. So let's get into season two. All right. I'm acquiring Aaron Bummer from the White Sox for Carrasco and Mangum. There we go. That might be one of the only moves I do this year. I'm, I'm not even lying. Like there is just not a lot this team needs to like have changed. I'm not lying. That's just that's just how it is. Um, so, yeah, I brought back Stroman on a two year club option. I figured, you know what? Let's. Let's see what we can do with this. Let's let's just figure out what we can do with this team. So what I'm thinking is David Peterson is definitely kind of someone that we could, you know, use as a long reliever or in that fifth spot in the rotation. On top of that, what I'm thinking is maybe if Stroman doesn't do well, we trade him. You know, Taiwan Walker also has one more year left on his deal. It really just kind of depends on who does well and who doesn't. Um, I also may throw Kamar right here. But the bullpen looks pretty strong. We brought in Kendall Grayman on a two-year deal, six mil. Trevor May, Edwin Diaz, like everybody was really strong last year. And then you look at this, who is missing here? Oh, it would be a DH, which will probably just make Pilar. But like the offensive lineup was so good last year. We brought in a couple pieces just to kind of fill out the roster. Like I'll show you the roster history. It literally is just players to fill out the farm system that like I just let go of some older players. That was really about it. Like players who were looking for like a million, you know, eight hundred thousand, nine hundred thousand dollar contracts, and I just kind of filled them out with like other players that, you know, I could, you know, just use. That was really about it. So yeah, these are all the free agents that I signed. But yeah, I didn't really go out and get too crazy this off season because again, money probably gonna be a little tight. So let me show you Kamar real quick where he's at. Seventy six overall. I definitely think next year. He'll 100% be in the lineup. Maybe a little late addition this year. But let's go take a look at his t former teammate, Jack Leiter, who's still in single A. Oh, at 78 overall. Interesting. I'm not going to trade for him in this one because I definitely will most likely do a, a Jack Leiter rebuild at some point. But I looked at extensions. Edwin Diaz. I want to see how he does. I want to see if he's going to be one of those guys that's like boom or bust. And there's a couple other guys here too. Mostly relievers. That's I just don't like really extending contracts to relievers because it always comes back to hurt me. So that's the team. I'm not going to change it up. Carrasco being traded. Oh, I lied. There is one more trade that I want to make. He is right here. Robinson Cano. What? I mean, there's no. Sh the thing is, like, I just don't know if he's going to stick around. That's the thing. And like, I need that money. So I'm just going to here. I'll just I'll take your lowest rated player. I don't even care. The Orioles can have him. I just want him gone. I just want him off the team. Save us some money. Plus, I need better scouts for better picks. So that's the team. I'm not going to touch it anymore. I'm going to leave it as is. I like this squad. I think it's really good. And then it allows us to kind of open up some space for Kamar because I have a feeling one of these pitchers is going to do poorly. So that'll open up a spot. And then on top of that, the lineup is untouched. It's just too good to mess with it. There's no reason to. So we're going to leave it like this. I'll see you guys most likely at draft day. Draft day? Draft day. Draft day. All right, I went real boomer bust on this draft. Let's see how it went. 
I don't hate it. Philip Lee doesn't strike out a lot of people, but to be honest, that's a nice looking pitcher to start it off. Control is a little weak. We can work on that. Kenny McNair. I went with the stash. That was that was really the deciding factor with this guy's draft pick. And then these two, eh, you know, but Jake, no, that's not right. Jack Adair, meh. Uh, not too bad. First two picks I'm pretty happy with though. At the deadline, I'm gonna pick up Austin Nola. I have a feeling it's just James McCann just isn't a catcher that I really want him a team. 10 mil, he's going down in rating. He's not really producing. The on-base percentage isn't bad. But, like, there's just really nothing else that's going right for him. So, I'm going to pick up Austin Nola, who's having a decent season. I want to see how he does. And then that way, you know, maybe we could see Francisco Alvarez in the team in a season or two. So, that's one pick I'm going to do, or one pickup I'm going to do at the deadline. I'm in a conundrum. Syndergaard, not doing well. Not really, not doing well. That's really what I'm getting at. Strowman's doing well. Taiwan Walker's not. And I'm like, well, one of these guys has got to go. I just signed him to an extension. He's on a super cheap deal. David Peterson's not really doing well either. Oh, this is tough. This is tough. Joey Lucchese, actually kind of nice in this long relief role. And I really want to get Kamar up this year, like right now. I want to put him in the team and get him in the long relief spot and just have him ready to go. Or we, okay, no, I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to leave it as is. I want to see, I want to see out of the guys right here because yeah, I want Kamara up next year. I'm going to let him develop this full season, and we're good to go. So, yeah, that's the only change I'm going to make. Austin Nola. I know. A little backtrack, a little change of plans, but we'll, we'll make it work for this season. So, let's finish off the year. I just want to get rid of James McCann's contract because it was just, it was gross. We're in first. Let's finish season two. 101 and 61 won the division. Again, the Braves were kind of close on us. I was, I was keeping track of everything. Three games difference. We're ranked second in the league. We got a good team... ERA, the averages went up from last year, I think six points. I like to see that. Reds up top. You got the Dodgers and the Padres, both with crazy seasons. What else? The Yankees are still really good. Any other any other crazy things? I'm surprised the Angels weren't a little bit better because I'm I saw some of the signings they made this offseason. It was it was a little wild. Baez, you got Trout, you got Mountcastle. I feel like he goes to the Angels quite often. Pretty I mean, Austin Meadows is there. And then when you look at their uh, Buster Posey, I know they signed Clayton Kershaw too. Yeah, I'm surprised they're not a little bit better. A little bit better. But um, okay, league leaders pitching through the roof. Jacob DeGrom, Edwin Diaz with saves as well. And then awards. Okay, Gold Glove, Cy Young, and MVP, Jacob DeGrom. Have yourself a season. Oof. Okay, oh, pff, yikes. Holy cow, 54 home runs from Acuna. Bogarts with 44. All right. Sevy winning Cy Young. Interesting. Interesting. Any any other crazy awards? TJ Anton boosted up his potential. There we go. That's what I like to see. There we go. I've been waiting for someone to do that in a roster because the guy deserves better than D potential than what he's been kind of carrying throughout this throughout the year. The guy's good. The guy's definitely got some talent there. So it looks like Graveman got sent down, which is interesting because he had a good year, so I'm gonna call him back up. <laughs> what? <laughs> let's yo yeah, let's send down one of the guys who had like a really good season. Yeah, I, I feel like that's the right move. Yeah, that makes total sense, right? What what is what is that nonsense? So let's take a look at this pitching staff again because yeah, they just sent down one of our best relievers. That's cool. David Peterson's definitely struggling here. Man, and I know in real life he's had like a good start, then I'll have a bad start, then I'll have a bad start, then I'll have an okay start. So like, I don't know. I don't know what to do with them. I really don't. We got Yamamoto who was who was okay in nine innings. Seth Lugo's good. He becomes a free agent, so we'll have to pay him. You know, Miguel Castro was decent. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Bummer, Graveman, and then Trevor May and Edwin Diaz. The ERA and the WHIP's kind of high. Does become a free agent, so maybe we look in a different direction. We've got DeGrom, Stroman, Syndergaard, Taiwan Walker, and then Joey Lucchese. I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. But someone, someone's leaving, right? Someone's got to open up a spot for Kamar. That's It's just it's got to happen, right? It's got to happen. So, ooh, Chan Sisko's kind of a nasty little bench bat to have. Malik Smith was decent off the bench. Giorme, okay, okay. I'm liking what I'm seeing on this team. Brandon Nimmo, we all know Brandon Nimmo's a beast. I forgot he becomes a free agent. We're going to have to pay him some money. That's someone that I completely forgot becomes a free agent this year. Everybody else is doing really well in the team, though. I'm liking what I'm seeing. 38 home runs once again from 
Pete Alonso. Let's see if we can get him one more season of 38. I want to see 38, 38, 38. Lindor. A little bit of a down year. Don't like seeing that. Pilar. JD Davis is kind of nasty, man. JD Davis kind of nasty. I also saw Nola decided to not be good after we just traded for him, which is great. Love to see that. And taking on the Reds. Ooh, Joey Lucchese. How about you can face Jacob deGrom? And we're still going to lose 3-1. to one. As per usual, the Mets give no support for Jacob deGrom. And the Angels defeat the Reds in the World Series. Interesting. That's, a, that's an interesting World Series for sure. That'd be kind of crazy to see. Okay. He's going down in rating, so I'm going to decline this option. He was a good reliever, though. That, that's the thing, though. Like, he was actually pretty good. It's just... There's just no, no point in giving him a, a, a contract if he's not going to do well. I'm going to give him a three-year deal. We'll bump it up a little bit more because that's what he wants. Three-year deal is cool. Kevin Pillar, he's, he was okay, but he's going down in rating. Jose Peraza, yeah, let's bring back Peraza. We'll, we'll do like a little, little three-year option. A little three-year deal. Um, Trevor May was really good this year, but then like not good last year. He's kind of hovering around the same rating. I'm going to let him go. I'm going to let him go. Seth Lugo going up, going down. Staying kind of consistent. How much does he want? Seven mil. What about ooh, 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 three year? I'll give you a club option. Man, he wants some money, huh? Mm, I don't I don't really want to pay that. I'll go I'll go nine for this year. I just don't think he's gonna be able to hold his rating for too much longer. So I'm just like kind of like one year deals. I just I just don't feel safe going out like two, three year deals for someone like that. This is the tough one because he was really good. He was really good, but we could also really use the money, right? We could, you know, bolster up the team somewhere. But he was really good. Let's pick it up. Let's pick it up. Let's exercise the option. And we'll let the rest go, which means we got to spend some money on the bullpen. Definitely need to spend the money on the bullpen. What I'm thinking is, because we've got Yamamoto, we got Peterson. Peterson just isn't doing it. Peterson just isn't doing it. He, mm, I'll give him one more year. I'll, gi I'll give him one more year. I'll give him one more year. What I'll do here is, I think Taiwan Walker gets the hook. I think Taiwan Walker gets the hook. And that means Kamar is going to get that five spot. So that's what we're going to do. Kamar is going to get the five spot. And then... The offense is so good. There's no real reason to change it. Maybe a catcher if there's a really good catcher available, which I don't think there is. Yeah, maybe Narvaez. Maybe I don't know. Uh, pitching though, pitching for the bullpen, 100%. Let's go. Let's let's go for it. Okay, so I don't really like any of the relievers in free agency. They either want like 11 mil for like two years or even three years. They're looking for like nine, 10 mil, and most of these guys are like 33, 34, 35. So their rating isn't gonna hold. Let's go pick up a couple relievers. Carlos Hernandez is going to be the one that I'm going to pick up from the Royals. Actually, looks kind of decent. I'm going to pick him up. Jordan Yamamoto is going to make way for this deal. And then I looked at it. We've, we've got kind of a plethora of catchers going on. Tomas Nito, I know is part of like the, what is it, the bench mob? Or I, I forgot what they call him. They've got like Nido. I think it's like Guillaume, a couple, or Peraza. There, there's like a whole, there's like a group of them that I know are kind of like, kind of like cult heroes for the Mets right now so I don't I don't necessarily want to trade him but like I need I need some relievers that are going to come out and help us out so who who's going to be that person I don't necessarily know right now who do the Cubs have that could be of worth what about Chafin mm, maybe not maybe not let's see Ooh, I would love to pick up TJ Anton I've been dying to pick him up for a rebuild for quite some time I have Michael Lorenzen I mean, if we can get him for like a backup catcher and then like, who else do we have? Who else do we have? I know we've got a pitcher down here that we could, Robert Stock, Robert Stock, see how Lorenzen does. And then maybe even go out and try to get TJ Anton as well later in the year. I mean, actually, that's not too bad. Yeah. And then maybe we can make Lugo the closer. Nope. Not there. Lugo the closer. And then we could pick up Anton at the beginning of the season. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. And then we got to figure out what we're what we're doing here. I think I think we said Walker's going to go. Walker goes. I think we get a new catcher. Walker goes. I think we trade for a new catcher. There it is. That's not too bad. Season three, I'm going to kind of prep for the future. I'm going to pick up Brennan Davis. His stats already look really good. He had 28 games last year, and he actually did really, really well. And on top of that, in the Futures game, he hit two home runs. He was the MVP of the Futures. Future... 
is it the future stars game futures game whatever it is i'm kind of looking forward to the future kind of trying to see like what possible like prospect i could go and get someone that could like just just in case we can't pick up conforto or anybody in the future that's that's really what i'm looking for and like we could go and get joe adele we could go and get someone else but without giving up like too much of the farm system i feel like brendan davis is a pretty safe pick plus that he could help if he doesn't help us out this year i definitely think he could help us out next year or the year after so maybe be the new malik smith if like we just decide to go a different direction so taiwan walker franklin kilome or kilome and then thomas thomas is gone so that's the pick that's that's the pickup for this season we're gonna rock like this kamar's in the rotation sorry david peterson you just you just didn't do it you just you just didn't you just didn't do it for me this year or last year we'll put you in the long relief role we'll give you some give you some innings but nah just didn't work um so what i need to do now is he actually in the bigs he is let's let's put him in triple a for the season let's put him in triple a for the season and then we'll call up Ooh, we'll just sign a we'll sign a shortstop boom perfect okay 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 we are gonna sign I don't really like any of these options to be honest I, I guess DD just as a backup guy let's hopefully he'll, he'll take six mil come on don't don't be greedy don't be greedy you're being greedy you'll be you're being you're being it's just you're gonna get cut I hope you know that like I'm not bringing you back I don't care if you hit 80 home runs you're gone I'm not bringing you back no matter what just just because just because of that so this is the team again offense hasn't been touched I thought about getting a new catcher but then I was like you know what just leave it like he wasn't terrible he was still better than what we had relievers I do want to go out and get TJ Anton but at the same time is Sean Reed Foley gonna is he gonna be good like is he gonna do it this season let me go take one more look at TJ Anton just because I want to pick him up in a rebuild I think I think he's been he's good I think he's really good and it looks like he's a closer what was the whip the year that he did poorly pretty good all right let's do it um sean reed foley has been one of those guys that lets me down in most rebuilds anyways so like i'm okay being like you know what sorry dude you, you're not cutting it i'm gonna give them david thompson that's not gonna make the deal go you can have chet waylock and jalen palmer and then there we go there's our deal there's our new reliever boom perfect that actually like that's solid that's real solid Ooh, i like this team i like this team a lot this is nice oh yeah stroman lucchese Com komar no komar Syndergaard, the ground stroman Ooh, yeah, yeah 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 i know taiwan walker in real life is having a killer season now an all-star we have 97 lefties on the bench but going back to taiwan walker it's just he just wasn't doing well and i'd rather i'd rather pick up some other pieces for players who were doing well so yeah that's the team that's the team i like the team i like the team a lot i like i really like this team i think this team is really good so who's gonna be our bench bat here hmm, versus lefties Ooh, we have like 97 lefties on the bench so we'll go jose peraza i guess man that sounds not great but we're gonna rock with it that's gonna be the team i think every 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 organization is good to go contract extensions degrom i'm gonna wait till the off season though actually i lied let's just, let's lock him up two years he wants max deal Ooh, dang dude getting a little you he wants that money makes sense dude. He's, he's the best pitcher in baseball like there's there's no way to argue that signs the deal boom everybody else can wait i don't want to talk to anybody else right now where are we ranked fourth second in contact fourth in power first in pitching defense is pretty bad yeah yeah but you know what the team's good i like it Let's get through season three, Kamar's debut year. All right, this trade requires a lot, but I'm picking up Grayson Rodriguez from the Orioles. I need some pitching. I don't even want to look at Taiwan Walker stats. I already know they're really, really good, and I messed up with the pitching. But you know what? We're going to work around it. We're going to fix it. We're going to fix it right now. I already know what I need. I need a second baseman now, which I have plenty of draft picks that I can rid of. Brett Beatty kind of struggling i feel like he's one of those players that the the mets would 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 be okay with getting rid of but they would want someone really good in return i know jeff mcneil definitely someone that the the mets like the thing is he was going down in rating he was struggling so i'm gonna go out and get someone that's really gonna help us out he's on the nationals mm -hmm. who 
Who's gonna be that guy? Who's gonna be that guy? Adam Frazier? No, he's not. Who is gonna be the second baseman that's gonna fill this gap now? I don't know. I don't know. Ha Seung Kim? No. Jake Cronin? Gavin Lux. Gavin Lux. Gavin Lux might be it. I might be in on Gavin Lux. Yeah, I might be in. Tommy Edmond lets me down too often. I've looked at, I'm looking at other options here. I'm thinking I'm thinking Gavin Lux. I'm thinking Gavin Lux. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's do it. I, it's, it's it should be pretty easy to trade for. Watch this. We're going to go Beatty. We're going to throw in Khalil Lee, and then what we're going to do is we're going to throw in Junior Santos, and we're going to get Gavin Lux on the team. That also gives us that lefty bat that we just lost. And now I need a little bit of, a little bit of pitching help, a little bit of pitching help, because David Peterson's still not doing well. The bullpen, Miguel Castro, Lorenzen's not doing well. Hernandez is not doing well. It just, it's all come tumbling down, even though we're doing really, really well. It's crazy. We could actually just turn to... Who's in our farm system? But I do at least want to pick up one, one bullpen arm. So let's go for let's go for someone that little little out of the ordinary. Who's who's gonna be Burl Caraway, Cubs draft pick from last year? Is he really doing that well? That's crazy. He's a lefty too. Do we need a lefty? We could we could use one. Um, I'm gonna keep Castro. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Could we use this lefty? I think he's gonna get rocked though. So let's get let's get someone that's like doing really really well. We are gonna go for lefty. I don't know. I I can't think of one right now. Um. Yeah, I can't. I can't think of one at all. That's really bad. That's really bad. So yeah, let's let's test it out. Let's get a young lefty reliever who we've never had before in Burl Caraway. Sounds like a terrible idea. I know. I know. It sounds it sounds awful. It, it sounds like it shouldn't work, but we're gonna make it work and we're gonna throw him into the, the team right away. We're just gonna throw him into the deep end and hopefully it works. It probably won't. It probably won't at all. We'll send him down to AAA. Let's call up Drew Smith. No, don't designate him for assignment. We'll call up Drew Smith. We'll, we'll see how that works for the season. I might even send down Lorenzen instead. Cause man, he's getting he's getting shelled. Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll give Hernandez some more some more innings to develop. There we go. We'll rock like that. Fingers crossed that sorts everything out. I don't want to show you Kamar's stats just yet. Because they're not they're not doing fantastic. I'm not gonna lie. They're he, he's he's struggling a little bit. He's struggling a little bit. Yeah, it's it's not great. It was not great. I was kind of hoping he would have done a little bit better, but he, he's not. He's not at all. So we'll, we'll rock like that. We'll see how it goes. I mean, we're still doing really well. 63 and 36. I shouldn't be too upset, but I think we can do better. 102 and 60 again. We're a 100 win team. We just we got to do better in the postseason. That's, that's really what it comes down to. Like we've been really good. We've got a good team. Pitching wise, not our best year, but probably should have kept Taiwan Walker I think that was probably the move the move um I'll definitely take the the hit on that one the thing there is he becomes a free agent this year so he would have been one of those that like we would have had to pay a lot of money for so you kind of take what you can and you know, you, you kind of you know what I'm saying holy cow Michael Conforto jeez um yeah he becomes a free agent next year we we definitely need to extend that contract holy cow jacob Degrom, we've already extended his contract so he's not going anywhere what about the other side fran mill with 57 playing for the mariners now okay okay cedric mullins with the batting title or was that no springer with the batting title okay karen Jack and barnes garrett mitchell okay and then heston kirsten on the other side okay let's take a look at pitching now looks like a couple guys got sent down this guy's developing really well. <coughs> ah, yikes. Um, who got sent down? Drew Smith. Actually, not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. And then Lorenzen. Yeah, not a good trade. Not a good trade at all. Um, I think the G-Man here. We'll call him G-Man just because I always mess up his name. He might deserve a shot. We'll see. I'm thinking about it. So David Peterson. This looks like what we're going to get from him. It's the control. The walks per nine. They're low. The clutch is a little low. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate for sure. 
Let's see who else. Burl Caraway. Not too bad. Maybe he's a lefty pickup that I need to go to more often now with this rating. Bummer struggled a little bit. He's got one more year left on his deal, though, so I feel safe with him in the team. Hernandez, we'll, we'll, we'll sort things out. Not a bad season, not a great season. Anton was great. We got one more year of control for him. Lugo, we'll, we'll figure it out. I'm probably going to look to spend some money on a good like a good closer. We got DeGrom. We know he was outstanding. Syndergaard, back to what I was looking for when I signed him to that extension. Strowman, really good. He becomes a free agent. We'll actually have some money to play with this year. Grayson Rodriguez, and then Kamar Rocker with the 4.79 ERA and 1.5 whip. That's okay. He's going up in rating. He's only 23. I have faith. We're good to go. I ain't worried about it. Okay, let's talk about this now. Billy McKinney. Mm, you know, meh. Meh. <laughs> um, looks like the bench was pretty lackluster besides Malik Smith. Brennan Davis got called up too. So who got sent down? Who got sent down? I don't know. A pitcher, maybe? Um, okay, Brandon Nimmo. I need that on base percentage to go back up. Gavin Lux was okay. I'm going to drop him in the lineup. I'm thinking this is... We're, we're, we're going to have to figure something out. Because like we've got some good bats. He has been so disappointing. And it's because, look at his hits. I mean, I don't get it. Like, yeah, his contact versus righties isn't that great. But, man, he's been disappointing. Which sucks, because I love Francisco Lindor. I think he's a great player. But, man, not great. Not great. And then, like, you look at some of our catchers. I don't I don't think Francisco Alvarez is ready yet. He's close. But not there yet. We got Lorang. We got Ronnie Mauricio. They're like so close to being ready, but not ready at the same time. So let's see how it goes. Oh, JT Jin, Gin, wh whatever it is, he he can't be in the in the mix. Let's add him to the team. Send him down, and then put him here, and we're good to go now. Postseason time against the Brewers, which their pitching staff is unbelievable, unbelievable. All right, DH. We'll go with, let's go with Guillaume. Guillaume hasn't let me down yet. Game one, we lose. Game two, we win, though. That's big. <sighs> as much as I want to give Kamar this outing, I can't. I can't. Not elimination game. Dude, four to two. Again, look at Zero runs, two runs. The DeGrom theory still stands. He gets no run support. None at all. The Mariners win a World Series. Good for them. Good for them. Unbelievable. Robinson Cano retires. Good. Okay. I said you're gone. You're gone. Lorenzen, you're gone. You were hot garbage. Malik Smith has been like a really good, really good bench bat for us. How much does he want for a season? Deal. Seven mil. You'll be a platoon guy, but he's been really good for us. Seth Lugo's going down. Let's part ways. Marcus Stroman, been really good. 14... You know what? We got two years left. Let's do... We'll, we'll match it. We'll go club option, though. Definitely should have kept Taiwan Walker. I will I will admit I was wrong on that one. Let's see. We'll add Crow Armstrong, PCA. And we'll make sure everybody gets a, gets a little offer there. Contracts, everyone's getting an offer there. It looks... Actually, what's PCA stats looking like? I haven't even looked at them. Man, those hitting stats are garbage. But Brendan Davis looks like our an outfield that needs to be part of the team too. Ooh, how do we how do we figure this out? How do we figure this out? Cause like I wasn't sure how like Dom Smith would do. You know, we got Brandon Nimmo, who like is he gonna continue? We got Brendan Davis. We'll figure something out. We'll figure something out. But I definitely want to. I guess we leave the starting rotation and then. Since we're losing one arm, I think we could like just get a really good closer. Really good closer. Let's see, what do we got here? Hendricks, 35 though. Reyes, I get too often. Hater, I feel like I get a little bit. It might be one of those that I just I trade for someone that's really good. Yeah. Cause I, I want to get someone a little bit different. You know, obviously starters, they're there. I wanted to show you Taiwan Walker had a 316 ERA. Sucks to see that, but um, yeah, I think we just don't need anybody. JD Davis has been unbelievable for us. Like, I don't want to replace him. You know what I mean? I feel like that's mean. He's been great. He's been killing it. He does become a free agent next year though, so 
If he continues to do well, we'll keep him. If not, then we'll let him walk. But um, maybe a catcher. Maybe a catcher. Catcher and closer. Those are my targets. Season 4 just extended Pete Alonso's contract. So what I'm thinking is, you can see I brought in Eduardo Escobar just as a platoon guy. He's 35, so if he falls off, he falls off. Um, and Liam Hendricks, 35. So same age as Seth Lugo, but he only had one attribute that went down last year. So I thought, you know what? If he can hold the rating for one more season, I'm 99% sure that free agency is kind of good next year. I mean, you can see Soto's there, Bragman, Bueller, Burns. There's some good names already there. I wonder if they switch it up. They don't switch it up. Um, so what you, so what I'm saying is, I have a feeling we're gonna be able to sign some really good players. When we take a look at our budget, we've got some money to work with. Plus, like, we will have some openings. The thing I'm trying to figure out is, do I want to keep Dom Smith or do I want to keep Michael Conforto? Both are doing fairly well. Conforto doing a little bit better than Dom Smith. Both become free agents at the end of the year. What I'm thinking is we keep one and then we look to spend the money that we'd save by letting one of them walk. We'd look to spend that money in a different player, maybe like a Soto or just a crazy outfielder. Just someone like that, just to kind of change it up a little bit. It really just depends on who's doing a little bit better. I like both players. I think they're doing very well. I think they, you know, they, they probably will stay with the Mets for the foreseeable future. Uh, I guess Conforto might become a free agent this year, depending on if he turns the season around or what, and like how much money he wants. But like, you know, I feel like we could definitely look to spend the money elsewhere, especially since I just extended Pete Alonso's contract. Because the only other thing would, I would let Alonso walk move down smith to first there so it, it's a tough thing you know obviously i feel like letting either of them go kind of would upset mets fans i've already let go of like taiwan walker so like it's kind of it's kind of a tough situation but like i also need to win in the postseason and uh yeah that's kind of becoming a problem so you can see the the starting rotation looks good i think the bullpen was a little bit underrated last year like they actually weren't all too bad right Bummer worries me a little bit. Peterson, do I give Peterson the go? He's just been so hit or miss, right? Like we've given him starts, we've given him. I got, I, I got to stick with it. I got to stick with my gut. So let's leave it like this. This is the team. It looks so good. I just needed to perform. Time to bolster this bullpen. Just not doing it. I'm gonna get rid of uh, Kenny McNair, who we did draft, but he's not gonna be MLB ready by a by the end of the rebuild. That's really, that's really it. Yeah, he's just not. So there's one. Next up, let's get rid of, he's not doing well in the minors. Let's get rid of him and let's get, ooh, who could we get? Who could we get? Who could we get? I'm trying to, I'm trying to pick up someone different, different than the norm. Karen Jack struggled. Class A looks like he's, ooh, this was, oh, there was a reliever. Um, was it the White Sox? No, 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 no. That, there was a reliever that was this one. Maxwell Green. Yes, it was him. I want him. I, 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 we're, we're making it happen. How am I gonna do this? Okay, Bro Caraway is not doing great. We're, we're making this happen. So, you can have. Ooh, we drafted Philip Lee, right? He looks decent though. Who's gonna make this deal happen? Harold Gonzalez. Maxwell Green get in the team. I want. Yeah, that was that was who I wanted. So, now Maxwell Green goes there. Anton's struggling, so I'm thinking we put Hernandez there. Everybody else, yeah, Anton's struggling, Peterson's struggling, and like he's so good, but there's no reason to keep him. He's he's just not, he's just not it. Kamar, holy cow, yeah, Peterson's just not it, and he's just, like maybe with a different team he'll be really good. Like I try, even we even gave him a shot, and he at this point he was like what 85. Like he just this is this is what this is what we're getting from him. So as much as I want to keep him, and to be honest, we'll probably trade him, and he'll probably end up being like amazing. But it's just it's time to go. It's it's time to get someone that can fill this long relief spot and do just just do the business there. So who is gonna be that person that can fill that long relief spot for us? Who is it gonna be? Obviously, I don't want to go out and get like a crazy good starter, but I definitely want someone that can like hold the fort down. Can I? Can I see? Can I see Santian's attributes? Santian's just not good enough yet. I need. I need someone that can help us out. Taiwan Walker's back to a four ERA. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Trying to go quickly. I just. I just don't see anybody. Chris Flexen maybe. Chris Flexen's been decent. 
Holds it down a little bit. All right, let's get Chris Flexen for... It's a terrible trade. I know. I know. It's, it's, it's a terrible trade. But he's just not doing it. And I like that. I like that. I like that pickup a lot. I like these two pickups. I know Jonathan Hernandez is someone that we've had in recent rebuilds. And I'm thinking Dom Smith is the one out. I know. It's tough. But everybody else is doing well. We're four games out at the all-star or the, the deadline. Let's finish season four. All right, another division win, 99 and 63. Again, the Brewers. We just we just can't get away from them. That is annoying. We just we just can't get away from the Brewers at all. Man, they're 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 my kryptonite right now. I I might just have to start stealing all their players. Like that just might be what it is because they are so difficult to get away from. 104 walks. Is that what I just read? Where was that? 104 walks. That's impressive. That's impressive for sure. That is. Okay, okay. Um, Conforto, again, in the mix for MVP. I mean, he's been, he's just been really good. Bobby Dahlbeck's good. What is this? Devers on the Blue Jays? Oh, man. That would be, that would be unreal. That would be unbelievable. That would just be too much, right? Amir Garrett is on the, the Brewers now. Okay. Rookie of the Year, Bo Naylor, along with Seth Corey. Zach Bean has been called up, too. Okay. So... Let's let's talk about this team here. Let's see. We got Flexen. I think he's got arbitration for the last year, so that's good. I think he's got to get some some long relief time as well. He's been he's been decent. I think Anton's still. Ooh, ooh, hold on. Overall's going up, but like certain stats are going down. He becomes a free agent, so ooh, maybe we maybe we let him walk. Maybe we let him walk. We spend the money somewhere else. Maxwell Green is still 22. I mean, look at those attributes though. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Jonathan Hernandez, and then Liam Hendricks. Definitely time to spend money. To spend money on the right areas, and that's bullpen. Like, everybody else is really good. He becomes... Ooh. Ooh, hold up. Oh, man. We got some tough choices now. I'm, like, looking at all these. Kamar, what happened? You had a 2 ERA. What happened? Um, I'm just looking at all these numbers, and, like, so many thoughts are going through my head while I'm saying these things, where it's like, man... We really just need to spend money on pitching. And I keep saying that and like I'm just I'm just not doing it, right? Who got sent down? Malik Smith. Why? Why was Malik S Smith sent down? Why? L look at those numbers. That is insane. He has been such a good bench bat for us. Like he excels in that spot. Like that is that is his bread and butter. That is his like just really good spot. I guess we make Brendan Davis's that's that's unbelievable. J JT Ginn, Jin, whatever it is, like yes, he's good. Don't get me wrong. I think he's gonna be a fantastic pitcher. But remove him. Who else? He got called up. We gotta remove him. We're gonna go with oh actually. Who did I wanna call up? I called him up already. Oh, we're good. Oh wait, no, no, no. Giorme. Giorme, what? Giorme's been so good. Why are we doing that? Let's send down McKinney. There we go. That works out. That works out a little bit better. So now we need Giorme in this DH spot. That's ridiculous. Why did they send down Giorme? Our bench, though, still really good. I like our bench. Our bench has been decent. It's been getting the job done. Brendan Davis struggled a little bit, but not a lot of appearances. So we'll, we'll get him his appearances. Nimmo is just a leadoff guy. Perfect. Like, that's just exactly what we need. JD Davis, dude. Like, normally he lets me down. He's been so good in this, in this rebuild. I love it. Conforto's been great. Pete Alonso still hitting bombs, even though he's going down, which is, of course, happens every time I sign an extension to somebody. Dom Smith. It sucks, dude, because, like, he's good, too. It's just we got to we got to go different directions with certain players. And you know what? I feel like we're starting to we're starting to get some good production from players. And I feel like Dom Smith, it, you know, we could go with Brennan Davis in that spot. We could go crazy power bat, bring in Juan Soto if he becomes a free agent, which would be like the craziest, probably worst thing to do. But like, you know what? It's, it's got to happen, right? We'll, 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 get, we'll get somebody for that spot. Let's see here. Game one. Dude, there's just no run production at all whenever J DeGrom pitches. Oh, dude, the Bre the Brewers are just the biggest kryptonite known to man right now. They win the World Series, and like it's just unbelievable. Like I can't I can't beat them. It is so bad. Um, not for seventeen mil. <sighs> There's so many so many things that we got to figure out here. We've got money to do it. Like we'll be we'll be comfortable. So like I'm not worried about that. 
So Conforto, I said I wanted to bring back three years. Oh man, that's so much money. That is so much money. All right, we'll do five. It doesn't really matter. We'll backload it too. Liam Hendricks is good. I want to see what other options are available. Same thing with Strowman. JD Davis. The thing is like, again, I don't want to lock it up long term, but like 14 mil is a lot of money. But I guess, I guess we have to do it. He's been really good for us. It is one more year in the rebuild. We'll backload that one too. And then Aaron Bummer. Hmm. He's been progressively like getting worse slash like staying the same, but like he's not really improving. Malik Smith, what does he want for a year? Sure, sure. We'll let him walk. We'll let Chan Sisko walk. And then Aaron Bummer wants, oh, he wants, he doesn't want that much money at all. Okay, we can, we can work with six mil. Thing is like, he's not gonna be a, he's gonna be a bullpen guy. He's not gonna be a closer. All right, there's a third of our money right there. That's a lot, but we'll we'll make it work. I think we're set. We're we're gonna we're gonna turn this team around. So, what do we have here? Grayson Rodriguez goes there. Ooh, actually, this works out. We can go Jin there. Spend some money on some really good relievers because we don't have any. And if you look at this, we ooh, I don't think he's gonna be good though because of the walks and hits per nine. But I'll keep my eye on him. We've got Matthew Allen as well. We don't have any relievers. I'm not even going to look at that. So, Conforto. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so we need an outfielder for sure. And a third baseman because J.D. Davis didn't sign. That is tough. That is that is tough. That is uh, not what you want to see. But an outfielder, we can definitely go and find one of those so easily. I'm not, I'm not worried about that. Like, there's one right there. There's plenty of outfielders. There was Fran Mill available. We've got the options. Third base, I'm hoping JD Davis signs, but yeah, we've we got to spend money in this section. I mean, look at all these relievers, starters. I'm not worried about. I think we've got the starting spots set up. We're good there. But the bullpen, we got to spend money. All right, I'm picking up Devin Williams. I'm giving him one more shot. I know I keep saying this a lot, but I'm giving him one more shot. I'm picking um sell or trading Chester Merrifield, Billy McKenney, and Peguero, who I picked up in the first off season because I needed some uh, some depth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick up a couple more depth pieces to fill out the roster. We'll get him in. Sure, that looks good. Yep, that's good. And that should that should, that should should do it, I think. Actually, yeah, that, that should do it. We should be at 28 men. No, no, no. Who's sneaking into the team that shouldn't have these two? All right, cool. Alrighty, I'll probably have to sign a couple more players, but this is this is currently what we're rocking with. As you can see, Eloy Jimenez on the squad. Yeah, the on-base percentage isn't as good, but similar bat, I think we'll be okay. I tried to get Juan Soto, he went to the Red Sox instead, and then Verdugo was available, but then I was like, you know what? I always talk about Verdugo going to the Mets. Probably should switch it up. And then that's that's really about it. Everybody else is kind of the, the same. Austin Barnes, one-year deal to get him into the team, just a backup. And then this is currently what our squad is looking like. I really like the looks of this pitching staff. This is nice. JT Jin or Gin. And then we brought in, brought back Bummer. We brought in Lucas Sims on a contract, eight mil. And then ooh, we might actually do this. Ooh, hoo -hoo, that looks nice. That looks nice. Has he been the closer? No, he's been the setup guy. So we'll make it look like, we'll, we'll do that. That that looks good. That That's actually like a, a really nice looking team. I, I like this team. This contract extensions, plenty of people become free agents. I'll show you. Like, this is a big year. To, this is like boomer bust situation. But like, when you look at it then, we have a lot of money to play with after this season. It is the final season, so like, doesn't really matter. No, but we've stayed within budget. We've, we've kept this team looking good. Like, really good. I like this team a lot. I think we did a really good job. Yes, we've been unfortunate not winning any games. But um, yeah, this is this is the squad for sure. So let's finish it off. As you can see, the rankings, we've even hopped into the top 15 for speed and defense. I like this team a lot. I've actually really enjoyed it. Even Kamar has been decent, right? This will be his third season. I mean, this is this is pretty solid. I like it. Let's see what happens. I accidentally went autopilot, completely skipped the standings. 104 and 58, our best season record-wise. ERA, the average, everything looks good. I'm really liking this team, like I said. This is one of those teams where like, yes, we've kept kind of the core, but like we've also brought in some new players through trades and free agency. And then, you know, obviously Kamar, who had the best winning percentage. Lucasim had the most saves. And then Conforto, JD Davis, 
like those two guys surprised me the most like especially jd davis one of those guys that like normally lets me down a lot he actually has been really really good frame mill went back to cleveland okay there we go corbin burns now with the mariners okay Ooh, nate pearson is he gonna be usable now Ooh, okay okay jd davis Eloy, I like seeing that. I like seeing that. But yeah, Juan Soto went to Boston, like I mentioned. But um, okay, okay, okay. I like it. I like it. Let's see what we got going on here. So, JT Jin, Gin, whatever it is, actually not too bad of a season, right? Like we've got some some prospects lined up for the future. He didn't work out, unfortunately. A little disappointed by that. Maxwell looking pretty solid. Bummer, again, really good. Glad we brought him back. Hernandez struggled a little bit, but still a decent season for sure. Devin Williams, outstanding. Lights out, beautiful. And then Lucas Sims had the most saves, but also probably the most blown saves, to be honest. DeGrom still putting up crazy good numbers. Syndergaard, really good. Grayson, I mean, yeah, the ERA is a little high, but he's still 24, man. He's going to get really, really good. Kamar looks so, so good. Love to see it. Love to see it. And then Chris Flexen. You know what? We're going to we're gonna put Kamara in the three spot. 100%. Um, who did they send down? Who am I missing here? Um, Nobody. So an offensive player got sent down. Okay. The offensive player was... Guillaume. I mean, I guess. He looks really good. Like, that's, that's strong. He's 100% getting in the team next year if we continue this. But... Malik Smith continues to be just a really good bench bat. Love it. Ronnie Mauricio did struggle, but I mean, look at his hitting stats. It makes sense. He's also still only 22. So, Brennan Davis is improving. He, he would be one that could 100% like hop into the lineup like immediately. So, there's that. You got, you got, you know what? Boom. There he is. Brandon Nimmo is still doing really well. Yeah, the average dipped a little bit. He does become a free agent this year. So, if you wanted to, you could you know, let him walk and move Brendan Davis into the lineup. But like, he's such an on-base machine that like, I feel like that's just a waste, right? Lindor put up 30 home runs. That's, that's actually really good. You know, Conforto MVP for a reason. Look at those numbers. Pete Alonso, 42 home runs. Love it. Eloy, 38. So kind of similar to what Dom Smith was doing. A little bit better in terms of OPS on base percentage. 316 average too is really good. So I can't complain. Look at J.D. Davis, man. I'm telling you, how did he not win MVP with numbers like that? That's crazy. Like, he he really surprised me this rebuild. Gavin Lux, not terrible, not great. You know, kind of somewhere in the middle. Still only 27, so I still think it was a good addition. And then, uh, yeah, that's the rest of the team. I like it. I like it. I think I think we really we did well with this squad. We're playing the Cubs now. Jack Flaherty. Oh, man. That would piss off some people. Kamar, get us the win. Nine to one loss. Ooh. Oh, oh, hold up. Wait a minute. No, no, no. Yo, DeGrom, I need you here. <laughs> First round exit every single time. First round exit every single time. Dang, man. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. That's tough. But you know what? For a Kamar Rocker rebuild, I'm actually really happy with the way he turned out. Like, this is someone that I, maybe we do a career sim with. We obviously are going to do some more rebuilds with other other players in the, in, the, in the draft. So let me know some rebuilds. Let me know some career sims. I also have some experiment videos that I want to do with the draft. So those will be coming out too. Maybe some, uh, what's, what's today? Monday. So maybe some double uploads this week with like maybe a career sim and then a rebuild or like an experiment video and then a career sim. Something like that. Because there's a lot of content with the draft that I want to drop. I want to bring it to you guys. But yeah, this this team was actually really good, and I'm glad we were able to. I'm glad the Mets were able to get a really good draft pick, like someone like Kamar, because man, this team was really cool. We haven't done the Mets yet in a rebuild, and I feel like we just got super unfortunate with the way everything panned out. Because this is a really good team, I just think we got unlucky. So no World Series, but this was this was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. Of course, if you did and you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. And in the comment section, let me know who's next, what video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.